Now I'm going to show you how to use the Romane Bulldog Bullnose Machine. We're bullnosing porcelain tile using the 3 ace diamond mill wheel. If you were doing natural stone, you would want to use the 5 ace wheels. And then when I'm done profiling this with the diamond mill, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can switch to step two, the rough finish wheel. Most importantly, I'll show you that we unplug our machine when we change our wheels. And when we place our tile onto our tray, we make sure it's square and that we keep our hand at the top side of the tile here so we do not slide in. We're going to begin profiling on this tile. Now I've finished with step one. I'm going to unclamp my tile from my board, pass the tray back through. I do not want to send it back through while the machine is running, and most importantly, now I want to unplug my machine to put my rough finish wheel on and take my diamond mill wheel off. Now that I've unplugged my machine, I'm going to press the tray out of my way clearly and remove my guard. I grab my rough finish wheel and place it up on my tray so I'm able to get to the wheel. Open my door and lock my motor. Remembering you turn away from yourself to loosen the blades. When I snug up my wheel, I just make it finger tight. I don't go too crazy. Take my wrenches out, remove my mill wheel. Sliding my tray back in, I then place my guard back down. And I beforehand, I'll grab my trowel and just make sure that my trowel has a little bit of rocking on there so that we're safe to pass our next cut through. Replace my screws and plug my machine in. I'm ready to go. Now we've got our Ramande Bulldog Bullnose machine ready for step two. We've removed our step one diamond mill wheel and replaced it with our step two diamond rough finish wheel. There are up to seven steps in the process depending on the material you're using and the sheen you are trying to achieve. We are going to take our material and make sure it is placed squarely against the machine and clamp it snugly into place, keeping our hand safely on the top. We're going to turn on our machine and finish step two. We shut our machine off, we don't pull the tile back through, and we have completed our second step.